After numerous doctor's visits, medical assessments and surgeries, 18-month-old Runa Begum is getting a chance of being the little baby she really is. Remarkable considering soon after birth in a remote village in northeastern India, doctors gave her just a few months of survival. It's still painful, but sitting on her mother's lap, seeing her face, are simple things Runa could not do until now. Runa is diagnosed with hydrocephalus, a disorder causing fluid to build up in the brain. Day by day, her head started growing larger. It became very difficult for us to carry her. Her parents couldn't afford to treat her, but thanks to an outpouring of goodwill halfway across the globe and a leading private hospital in New Delhi, Runa is now in a much better place. This is Runa four months ago. At 94 centimeters, the circumference of her head was almost triple that of a normal baby. There were 10 liters of excess fluid inside her brain. The skin so stretched, pulling her eyelids over her eyes, making it impossible for Runa to see. Neurosurgeon Sandeep Vesha has treated hundreds of babies with hydrocephalus before, but he's never seen anything like this. I just felt so sorry for the baby that she, it was actually a pitiful sight. The, the only way the father could hold the child was by holding on the side of her head and just lifting her up. Standard treatment for hydrocephalus is a cerebral shunt, inserting a hollow tube into the brain, draining the fluid into another part of the body. Doctors have been draining out the excess fluid from little Runa Begum's head for days, but this is the main surgery. Vaisha appears calm, but he admits the risks in this case are high. You have to uh, generally put in a straight tunnel through it, and the head size is so big that you can't take a straight trajectory there, and the skin is so papery thin. There were times when they almost lost her, Vaisha later tells us, but Runa pulled through and is now ready to go home. You can see she's much more playful, she's moving her hands all around, she holds toys, she cries a lot. Did you ever think it would be this successful? To be truthful, no. We never expected that we could reduce it to this size or she would improve to this extent. We travel to Runa's village to see how she's coping. We're seeing baby Runa after five surgeries now and her parents say she's almost 10 kilos lighter and she's become the joy of this village. Her head is now down to 58 centimeters. Curious visitors keep dropping by. Fatima and Abdul Rahman still unaware who helped pay for Runa's treatment. Hi, Jonas. We introduce them to Jonas Borschgrevink, more than 4,000 miles away in Norway. She's a feisty little uh, child. Hello. Jonas and another student, Natalie Kranz, put up Runa's pictures on a crowdfunding website in April. In four months, they raised $60,000. I want to ask them how they see um, their future regarding uh, Runa Begum. They hope that she will be healthy like a normal child, that she'll be able to go to school. It's too early to tell if Runa will ever be completely normal. Many operations still lie ahead, but the signs thus far are promising. Sunima Odas, CNN, Tripura, India.